Hallelujah. You have your Bibles with you? Let's hold out our Bible and let's declare. Hold our Bibles. Let's declare all together. Ready? This is my Bible, the incorruptible Word of God. I boldly declare when it is the truth, I will believe it. When it is a promise, I will claim it. When it is a command, I will obey it. I am alert and ready to receive the incorruptible Word of God. I will never be the same. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Praise God. Do you believe that? Amen. amen. Thank you, Lord. And let's open our Bibles in 2 Timothy 1. Second Timothy 1, verse 3. Well, let's read. I thank God whom I serve with a pure conscience, as my forefathers did. As without ceasing, I remember you in my prayers day and night, greatly desiring to see you, being mindful of your tears, that I may feel with joy. When I call to remembrance the genuine faith that is in you, which dwelt first in your grandmother Lois and your mother Eunice, and I am persuaded is in you also. Therefore, I remind you to stir up the gift of God, which is in you through the laying on of my hands. For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and love and of sound mind. Therefore, do not be ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor of me, his prisoner, but share with me in the sufferings for the gospel according to the power of God, who has saved us and called us with holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given to us in Christ Jesus before time began but has now been revealed by the appearing of our Savior, Jesus Christ, who has abolished death and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel, to which I was appointed a preacher, an apostle, and a teacher to the Gentiles. For this reason, I also suffer these things. Nevertheless, I am not ashamed, for I know whom I have believed, and I am persuaded that this is that he is able to keep what I have committed to him until that day. Amen. And may God bless us as we read his word. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you, Jesus. There's a saying that when there is a will, there is a way. When there is a will, there is a way. And if one is motivated or has a reason, you know, in your life to do something, you will always find a way to do it. Right? When there is a will, there is a way. In Tagalog, pag gusto, may paraan. Pag ayaw, May dahilan. Maraming dahilan. And, you know, when you look at the word dahilan, it's your reason. Okay? It's your reason. And I believe it's also about your desire. It's also your reason. It's your desire to do something. And God has placed this word in my heart. And this is what I would like to share with you today. It's the, it's the word reason. And I was asking the Lord about it. And because uh, this month is our uh, mission month, and we are talking about, highlighting about mission, all right? Doing mission for the Lord. And I was asking the Lord, and the Lord dropped me this word, you know, in my heart. The word reason, okay? Reason. And we were reading a while ago about Apostle Paul. He was declaring, he was telling about for this reason, right? For this reason. Apostle Paul was saying, for this reason. 
And all of us, we have a reason. Okay? May dahilan. And the reason, or if you go to the dictionary, the word reason is a cause. Right? An explanation or a justification for an action or event. That is the meaning of reason. Or the verb is make. To make. When you study the word reason. And it's important that we have a reason in our lives. All right? A reason. Your reason is your motivation. It motivates you to do something because of your reason. And it's very important that we have in life a very good reason, you know, in every season. And before I continue, I would like to highlight this uh, few quotes that uh, could inspire us as we continue, you know, serving the Lord in our journey. The first quote is, never give up. Can you say to your neighbor, never give up. Great things take time. Be patient. Right? Never give up. Great things take time. Right? And be patient. Hallelujah. And the next one, remember, it's just a bad day, not a bad life. Because we know that the life that God is giving us is life abundant. Amen? Hallelujah. So it's just a bad day. So you can say it's a bad day, but still you can have a reason to celebrate, a reason to rejoice. Amen? Next. If you feel like giving up, just look back how far you are already. All right? If you feel like giving up, just look back on how far you are already. And I believe we as people of God, we always declare, I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. Amen? Amen. Praise God. And I believe that this will help us stay strong in the Lord. Next one. Hard times don't create heroes. It is during the hard times when heroes within us is revealed. And who is our ultimate hero? Jesus. Right? It's during those hard times that we know Jesus is there for us. Jesus is fighting our battles. Amen. Praise God. Next one. I'm not telling you it is going to be easy. And that's true. I'm telling you, it's going to be worth it. You know, when we do, when we fight through our battles, you know, we go through life, and there are times, you know, our lives are, it's not always good. We go through bad times, hard times, right, in our lives. But we know if we stay in faith, we know it's worth it. Amen? We stay in Jesus. We know it's worth it. Amen. Next one. If you get tired, learn to rest, not quit. We are not quitters, amen. amen, right? And there are times we do get tired. And let us encourage one another. Rest, take time to rest, but don't quit. Amen, amen. right? Next one. Pain is temporary. Quitting lasts forever. We don't want to quit. We want to see our victory. You're believing for something. You want something to happen in your life. You're believing. Don't quit. Right? Because if you quit, that's already forever. Right? Amen. Next. It doesn't matter how slow, how slowly you go as long as you don't stop. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You know, we need to have reasons in our life. And that is my message for us today. A reason. We have to have a reason. And it motivates us. And 
naturally, people, as a person, we have this tendency to give up. It's a nature, you know, that we have, that we have a tendency to give up. But I encourage you today, don't give up. Amen? We've got to have a good reason for every season. Amen? We need to have a good reason for every season. It's important, as I was asking the Lord and meditating upon the Lord about the word reason, Lord, reason, and talking about, I'll be talking about uh, Mission Sunday and Mission Month, and Lord, what is this reason all about in our lives? And God dropped this you know, line in my heart, you know, a good reason for the season. And if you go to the Bible, you know, in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, it talks about times and season. That everything, there is a time, there is a season in Ecclesiastes 3. And we know that, right? There are different seasons in our lives. You know, in this world, we have different seasons. Normally, we have four. Here in the Philippines, we have two. Rainy season, sunny season. Yeah. And we need to have a good not a bad reason, a good reason for the season. Whatever season you're in, it's important that we have a good reason for it. All right? A good reason. And whatever season you're in or time in your in, if we look at the spring, you know, in the natural, you know, different seasons, different seasons, in the spring, seeds take root and vegetation begins to grow. It's springtime, right? It's springtime. In summertime, the temperatures may increase to their hottest of the year. That's the summertime. If they spike too high, heat waves or drought may cause trouble for people, animals, and plants. So if the heat is too high, it could cause problem during summertime. Okay? So that's a different season. There's also a season, an autumn season or fall, which the temperatures cool again. Plants begin to grow dormant. Yan po, yung season ng autumn. A different season. And, you know, you can see changes as season takes place. And also, another one is winter. And winter often brings a chill. Some areas may experience snow or ice, while others see only cold rain. Animals find ways to warm themselves and may have changed their appearance to adapt. Wow, amazing. So different season. And all of us, we need to have a reason, a good reason, you know, in our lives, whatever is the season. And remember this, different season, same God. Different season, same God. Because our God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. It's something for us to comfort. You know, give us comfort knowing that our God, He doesn't change, right? He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Wow. So whatever season we are at, it could be winter, it could be summer, it could be fall, it could be springtime. We know we have the same God. Amen? He's going to be there for us. He's going to take care of us. We just have to trust Him. We just have to, you know, put our faith in Him. And may I encourage you today, we may have different seasons in our lives. And I want to, I want to encourage you today, let Jesus be your reason. Let Jesus be your reason in every season. You know, in every season, there is 
God dropped this in my heart. In every season, there is a reason. In every season, there is a reason. But you can have a good reason for every season. We go through different season, and seasons have their reason why it's happening. But even those things are happening in our lives, we can still have a good reason, right? To continue, not to quit, not to stop, right? Not to give up because we know Jesus is our reason. Amen? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And you know what? Jesus is a reason because you, me, is his reason. We are the reason why he gave his life. Amen? You are so important to Jesus. And I believe it, this is his heart. This is his desire for us, for us to enjoy him in all season. Right? For us to see him, who he is, in our season. Wherever we are in our season. And I thank God that he is our reason. And we are his reason. Amen? Thank you, Lord Jesus. And I want to highlight this season in our life. It's called the harvest time season. There is a harvest time season in our lives. A harvest time. And he is the reason why. Jesus is the reason why. In John 4.35, it says there in the NLT, you know the saying, four months between planting and harvest. But I say, wake up and look around. The fields are ready, ripe for harvest. The fields are ready, ripe for harvest. We may have a physical harvest ready for harvest, but what I'm emphasizing right now is a spiritual harvest of souls. God is saying, Jesus is saying to us, wake up, look. All right, look. You see, if you're not looking at the direction where you know the harvest is there, you cannot see the harvest. But if you are looking at the direction of where the harvests are, you can see the harvest. That's why Jesus is saying, wake up and look. You can be awake, but your eyes is closed. That's why Jesus is saying, wake up and look. It's all around. It's all around. The harvest is ready. The harvest is ripe. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. And let Jesus be the reason for this season. Let him be the reason. And, you know, I want to drop this to you today for the reason why we have to heart, why we need to have a heart for the harvest, for the lost, for the souls. Because we want to populate heaven. We want to populate heaven. This, you know, has been something in my heart, you know, to populate heaven. Let it be our reason that we want to populate heaven. A very good reason, reason to share the love of Jesus. When you share the love of Jesus, when you reach out to someone, you are, we are populating heaven. Amen? We want to populate heaven because Jesus is there and Jesus wants us there. It's the desire of Jesus that no one is lost but to be with Him. Amen? Amen? And this is our reason today. All of us, to have a good reason, you know, a reason to win souls, a reason 
to reach out because Jesus wants to be wants us to be with him in heaven. Amen. Thank you Lord. I want to share this story. It's about the boy and I have shared this a lot of time but I know every time I would share this I know it's it is helping us. It is about the boy that went uh, after the storm went to the seashore or to the beach in their area and because of this great storm the waves brought the starfish to the seashore thousands of starfish was there laying down in the seashore it was all there and this boy got compassion had compassion in his heart he was thinking about if no one is going to help this starfish they are going to die all of them are going to die if no one, if no one's going to help. Thousands of starfish was there laying down. And so this boy, because of compassion, and you know, he wanted to help the starfish or save the starfish, he kneeled down and picked one and throw it back to the ocean. He throw it, pick another one back to the ocean throw it back to the ocean another one back to the ocean and this uh, this old old guy passed by and shouted boy what are you doing and the boy responded shouted i'm saving the starfish that was the response of the boy and keep on picking the starfish and throwing it back to the ocean. And this old man said, boy, that's impossible. You know, look at the starfish. It's thousands of it. Right? I was just telling that it was impossible. And the, the, the man, the old guy was shouting, you're wasting your time. It's impossible for you to do it. And as that old guy was shouting, the boy was holding a starfish in his hand. And he said, but this one, I can. This one, I can. The one that he's holding, he was telling, this one, I can save. I can give life to this one and throw it back to the ocean. You know, today... This is a challenge for us today. This one, I can. A reason to populate heaven. You know, in this time of season, harvest time, harvest time. You know, it has to start within us that we have this reason. Lord, I want to be a channel to help someone not go to hell but to be with you, Lord Jesus. To be with you. It's a desire for us. As a church, this is our mission. We want to be a blessing. We want to be a channel. We want to be an instrument of God that we can help someone. And I believe, I'm stirring up your heart today that you can also declare to yourself, this one, Lord, I can. We might not be able to reach all the people here in Auckland or in the world, but I know you can reach one. Do you believe that? I know, I know you can reach one. It could be your friend, it could be your, your family, it could be your classmates, it could be your workmate, it could be a person that you met. And you can say, Lord, this one, Lord, I can bring this person to you. I pray that today we have this heart. I pray that this year will not end you not having one. Do you believe that? This year will not end and you can say, Lord, I have one. Amen. I have one, Lord, added to the population of heaven. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. And I believe that today, you know, God is working in our hearts. God is encouraging us. All of us. 
I believe next Sunday, you can bring one. Next Sunday, you can bring one. As God empowers us, as God works in us, I believe this declaration, this one, Lord, I can. This one, Lord, I can. Who is that one? I believe God is going to help you, point you there, you know, and give you the heart to reach out to that person. Amen? Amen. We celebrate that this is the heart of Jesus. We are the reason why we're here. Someone, you know, made that decision why we're here today. And I believe as you make your decision, someone is here also because of your decision. Right? And because of your reason, Lord, I want to populate heaven. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And if you're here today and you have not received Jesus as your Lord and Savior in your heart, today is the day to receive Him as your Lord and Savior. Can we all close our eyes? And can you pray this prayer with me? Father, thank you for your Son, Jesus. Thank you for your love. And today, I repent. I ask for forgiveness of all my sins. Cleanse me. Wash me. Jesus, come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. I believe that you died and you rose again. And help me to live the life that you want me to live. In Jesus' name, amen. Wow, what a powerful message that you have heard today. It is my prayer that it has touched your life and it has made a difference while you were watching on YouTube. Today, if you haven't made Jesus Lord of your life, He is reaching out to you. He wants to be a part of your life. Would you say this prayer with me? Jesus, come into my heart. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. Be my friend. Thank you for forgiving me of all my sins. Thank you for loving me. Thank you that I'm going to heaven. I love you. Amen. Wow, what an amazing message. If you'd like our content, be sure to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. See you all around.